Good day, students. You're welcome to basic science class. Basic science. Today we'll be looking at energy. Our aim, our aim is to define energy, state the different forms of energy, dwell on mechanical energy, and as well do the calculations involved in mechanical energy. First, what is energy? Energy is the ability or the capacity to do work. I repeat, energy is the ability or the capacity to do work. A child running down the staircase is doing work. That ability that enables that child to do work, that work is what we call energy. A man running a 100 meter race is doing work. The ability or the capacity to do work is what we refer to as energy. I repeat again, energy is the ability or the capacity to do work. And energy can exist in different forms. That is the forms of energy. We have different forms of energy. One, chemical energy. Different forms of energy we have chemical energy, mechanical energy, which consists of potential and kinetic energy. Potential and kinetic energy. Light energy, electrical energy, heat energy, ETC. There are a lot of them. But now I will give you just five forms of energy. Now we will be dwelling on the mechanical energy. Because this energy we use in our day-to-day -day activities. Potential energy, like when you look at this little car I have here. It might be a toy, but I think it will help us. This car, as it's at a place, it possesses potential energy. In other words, we we'll say that potential energy is energy at rest. Energy by, possessed by a body at rest. Energy possessed by a body due to its position. Its energy is stored in a body. Now, if I move this car and it starts moving, you can see, if I move the car and it starts moving, the energy has been converted to kinetic energy. So, meaning that kinetic energy is energy possessed by a body in motion. As the car is moving, it is in motion. Energy possessed by a body in motion is referred to kinet as kinetic energy, while the energy possessed by a body at rest is referred to as potential energy. And this energy, as we have discussed, can be converted from one form to another. Looking at the various forms of energy, energy can be converted from one form to another meaning that we don't destroy energy cannot be destroyed rather you can convert it from one form to another for instance i want to smoothen my clothes meaning i want to iron my clothes i can't just pick my electric iron and start smoothening my clothes no the first thing i do is to plug my iron 
to an electric source, thereby generating electric energy. Then this electric energy will be converted by the ion to heat energy, which will now enable me to smoothen my clothes. So you can now see that an electric ion helps us to convert an electric energy to heat energy. And that's what we refer to as the law of conservation of energy, which states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, rather it can change from one form to another. I said, for instance, For instance, our electric ion can convert energy from electrical to heat energy. Electrical energy to heat energy. Another one is electric heater. Electric heater can as well convert electrical energy to heat energy. And that's what we refer to as conservation of energy. I repeat, the law it states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but it can change from one form to another. Like in our electric ion, energy can be converted from electrical energy to heat energy. Electric heater energy can be converted from electrical energy to heat energy. Even the car I showed you, you saw that the energy was at rest, meaning it's potential energy. Then when it starts moving, it's converted to kinetic energy. So that's what we refer to as conservation of energy. So we'll talk about the mechanical energy now. Mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is of two types. They are potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy is the energy possessed by a body at rest. Possessed by a body due to its position. While kinetic energy is the energy possessed by a moving object, moving body. As the object or the body is moving, the energy possessed by that body is what we refer to as kinetic energy. And these forms of mechanical energy can be represented mathematically as PE, PE meaning potential energy, is equal to M times G times H. We are M is equals to mass of the body or you can call it object. G is equals to acceleration due to gravity and H is the height of the object. I said potential energy can be represented as mgh, where m is the mass of the body or object, g is the acceleration due to gravity, and h is the height of the object or the body. Then kinetic energy is equal to half m v square half m v square m is still the mass of the object or the body v is the velocity of the object or the body mass of the object velocity of the object now whenever we are giving any calculation on potential and kinetic energy we must first of all read the questions 
I understand the question, then we'll interpret the question before we start ca our calculation. What do I mean by that? First, we must know the unit of each quantity given to us. We have mass here. The unit of mass is kilogram. When mass is given to us in gram, is expected we convert it to kilogram using 1 kg equals to 1 gram. 1 kg equals to 1 gram. For instance, if I say convert 50 grams to kg, convert 50 grams to kg, what do I do? I say 1 kg is equals to 1,000 gram. Then how many kg, I don't know it, will give me 50 grams. So I can do it this way. I'll have 1 kg times 50 grams divided by 1,000 grams. And gram will cancel gram. Zero will cancel zero. So we have 5 over 100. This divide this will have 0 0.05 kg. So that's how you do your conversion. Knowing that 1 kg is equals to 1,000 Gram. So you can easily convert it using this formula. Okay, I said potential energy um, is equal to mgh. M is mass and mass is measured in kilogram. Then G is the acceleration due to gravity. And this acceleration due to gravity is measured in meter per second square. Or you can call it meter per second per second. Then H is measured in meters. Then coming to kinetic energy, mass is still in kilogram. Then velocity is measured in meter per second. Velocity is measured in meter per second. So whenever a question is given, we will read it, understand it, interpret it, then do our calculation properly. Okay, let's try these calculations. Number one, a farmer lifts The question says, a farmer lifts a bundle of firewood of 35 kg into a wheelbarrow that is 8 meter high. Calculate the potential energy. Take G equals to 10 meter per second square. Remember I told you that acceleration due to gravity is measured in meter per second square. And this acceleration due to gravity has a constant has an average constant which is 9.81 meter per second square, which is approximately 10 meter per second square. So looking at this now, the first thing is 
what am I asked to do here? He said, calculate the potential energy. In other words, it's expected that you are, you are to calculate the potential energy, not kinetic energy. We have potential energy, not kinetic energy. So the first thing you write, solution. A farmer lifts a bundle of firewood of 35 kg. Remember we said that our mass is measured in kilogram. That's kg. That means this 35 is our mass. So M, which is mass, is 35 kg. Into a wheelbarrow that is 8 meter high. That means the height is 8 meters. And then the G is equals to 10 meters per second square. It said calculate the potential energy. We don't know our potential energy. So what's the formula for calculating potential energy? M times G times H. Looking at it, you have M, you have G, you have H. So automatically, we can now do our calculation with ease. So we have potential energy equals to M times G times H, which is equal to 35, that's the value of M, times G, which is 10 times 8. 35 times 10 times 8. 35 times 10. 35 times 10. I hope you have copied the question. Let me clean it so that I can solve up here. Okay. 35 times 10 times 8. Is equals to what? 35 times 10 will give us 350. Just take this zero, put it behind here. Times 8 will be equals to what? We can do it here. 350 times 8. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 5 will give us 40. Then you write 0, keep 4. 8 times 3 will give us 24 plus 4. That will give us 28. So, you have 2800. That means our potential energy is equal to 2800. Remember what I said earlier on, that energy is measured in joules. So, whenever we are done with our calculation, we must put the unit to show that we have calculated energy. We have different units like mass. If you are asked to calculate mass, you must put the unit which is kg. If you are asked to calculate acceleration, you must put the unit which is meter per second square. If you are asked to calculate velocity, you must put the unit which is meter per second. Then now you are asked to calculate potential energy. The unit is joules because potential energy is a form of energy okay let's try another one to ascertain your understanding let's try another calculation still on potential energy but this time around i'll give you your mass in grams so that you do the conversion this time around, I will give you your mass in grams, so you do your conversion. Let me see how you do it. A stone, this is number two calculation, a stone
Okay. A stone of mass 50 grams falls from a story building 8 meters from the ground. Calculate the potential energy. Take G equals to 10 meter per second square. Like I said, you must read the question, understand it first before you start your interpretation. Now, you are expected to calculate potential energy. Potential energy, not kinetic energy. So we can now write it as solution. A stone of mass, mass 50 gram. Now, here we will do a little conversion, converting these grams to kilogram. Knowing too well that we said that one kilogram is equals to 1000 gram. Then this 50 grams will be equals to what? We have one kilogram times 50 grams over 1,000. Gram will cancel gram, zero will cancel zero. Then you are left with five over 100, which is equals to 0 0.05 kg. You can say 100 divide 5 is impossible. You write your 0. Put 0 here. 100 divide 50 is still impossible. You put you put another 0. Then add 0 here. 100 divide this. You have 5. So that's how we got 0 0.05 kg. Or you can still, knowing too well that this 0 here is 2, you can put the decimal point like this. 1, 2. One, two. So you have it here. You put your decimal point here. You have zero here. Put your decimal point. So that's how we got 0 0.05 kg. You can divide it this way. 5 over 100. 100 divide 5 is impossible. You write zero and put dot. Then put zero behind. 100 divide 50 is impossible still. You put zero. Then put another zero behind. Then you have 500 over 100. Then 500 divided by 100 will give you 5. So that's how we got 0 0.05 kg. So automatically now we have our mass as, as 0 0.05 kg. Okay. Then from a story building, 8 meters. So you have the height as 8 meters. Then it says calculate the potential energy. Potential energy we don't know. That's what we are calculating. Take G equals to 10. Take G equals to 10 meter per second square. So let me write up here so that you can see it. Zero point five times ten times eight. Zero point zero point zero five times ten will give us zero point five times eight. Zero point five times eight is the same thing as one over two times eight. Zero point five is the same thing as one over two. So one over two times eight will give us four. So zero point five times eight is equals to four. So our answer is 4 joules. So you have PE is equals to 4 joules. I believe you understood what we did. So I want you to take this assignment. Make sure you do it. Pick your pen and your paper. Write this assignment. Make sure you do it. Simon,
Let's keep one. Okay, he said, a fruit of mass, 50 kg, falls from a height of 5 meters to the ground. Calculate I, the potential energy of the fruit, I, I, the kinetic energy of the fruit. If the velocity is 4 meters per second, take G equal to 10 meters per second squared. I know we didn't try any calculation on kinetic energy. But if you follow the, the formula I gave you on kinetic energy, which is Ke is equals to 1 over 2 times m times v square. You will use it and you'll get the correct answer to kinetic energy. Thank you very much and God bless you. Stay safe.